Hello and welcome to The Blame Game, the show that does for the news what the local elections did for the Liberal Democrats. <laughs> yes, my name is Len Batopic. Some of you know that I used to go out with one of the cheeky girls, although to this day I still don't know which one. <laughs> when I went to school in Northern Ireland in Belfast Ince, my chums asked me, so you're an Estonian then, would that be a Protestant Estonian or a Catholic Estonian? Some people even put an apostrophe in it, as in OPIC. Only a Lib Dem could suffer racism and sectarianism at the same time. <laughs> it's a hundred years since a British monarch last visited Ireland. On her arrival, the Queen inspected the Guard of Honour by the Irish Defence Forces. You could see Prince Philip thinking, is that it? We could take this place back if we wanted. <laughs> uh, many people have said that they hope... I thought that was quite good, actually, yeah. but there we are. <laughs> It was like he was in the room. Yeah, sort of sort of. Of. <laughs> yeah, I thought you were streaming there for something. Yeah. OK, right. <laughs> Many people have said that they hope the cost of the visit will be recouped in tourism venue. I think someone needs to tell the Irish that the Queen generally doesn't tend to carry cash, um, except, I suppose, for photo ID. Uh, the Queen was greeted by a 21-gun <laughs> salute. Thank you. Some people have felt that uh, Britain should apologise for their uh, rule in Ireland, but uh, David Cameron insists he'll only apologise for that if Ireland apologised for Jedward. Let's move on. I wrote a cheeky girl. <laughs> You're a family man, though, aren't you? I mean, I saw you playing with your daughter earlier. That was lovely. I mean, my... <laughs> my, I was saying, my dad never played like that with me. I really... Jealous about that. <laughs> Pretty special oh. relationship. Oh, oh. oh I'm sore. Oh. I've, oh. I've, I've checked her birth certificate. There's nothing... <laughs> There's, there's, there's nothing illegal about it since March. Um, <laughs> Lend it for plenty. If you can do it for... I, no, how you do it, I do not know. Actually, um, actually, I keep getting these um, emails for things like uh, Viagra and inkjet printer cartridges. I mean, what possible use do I have for an inkjet printer cartridge? <laughs> <laughs> um, but I digress. <laughs> uh, right, anyway, time now for the quick-fire round. I read a headline from this week's papers, and I want you to come up with a punchline quicker than a chambermaid out of a Frenchman's New York hotel room. Ha he ha. <laughs> Berlusconi facing blow at the polls. He can't help himself, can he? <laughs> <laughs> My name's Lemba Dopic, and remember, don't blame yourselves, blame your local MP, or in Chris Hoon's case, your ex-wife. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs>